Greetings, Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And I'm here with my Google Nexus 7 tablet. And what I'm going to demonstrate for you in this video is the usage of what's called an OTG cable. Now, the OTG cable has a, a uh, specific function for us. Uh, it is a micro USB on one end here. And on the other side is a female standard USB port. Now, what this allows us to do is to use the native USB host function on the tablet uh, to plug in things such as a keyboard, a mouse, and some other peripherals. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration here on how all of this works together. Uh, one of the important pieces of this is in order to use things such as USB uh, sticks, uh, USB storage, external hard drives, things of that nature, the device does have to have an app, uh, a specific app. It's called Stick Mount. Uh, it is free on the Google Play Store. Uh, this app requires root access. So if your device is not unlocked and rooted, it would be a good idea to do that before attempting to mount any type of USB uh, devices uh, of a storage nature. Now, in terms of a keyboard and mouse, uh, like I said before, the Android uh, operating system has native capabilities for that. Now, uh, one of the questions that I've been asked is, well, can you use a keyboard and a mouse together? And uh, the answer to that is actually a USB hub. Now this uh, hub that I have here is uh, is actually just a cheap little four port USB uh, Belkin hub, uh, nothing special. It does have the capability uh, to be powered. However, for this demonstration, I will not be uh, powering this uh, USB hub. So the purpose of this is kind of, if I don't have power, can I still do something like this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the, uh, the, the OTG cable. Uh, OTG stands for on the go uh, and it just plugs right in. Now I have one with a very nice little uh, L uh, shape there so that's very handy and I'm just going to put that here uh, back on my stand. Uh, if anybody wants to know this stand, I actually picked that up at a, um, a craft store. Uh, it's for picture frames. Uh, I've also seen people use things like uh, uh, antique plate holders and whatnot for their devices. So just a cheap and easy little way of, uh, of connecting here uh, or holding the device. So I'm going to take my USB hub now and plug it right into the female end of this uh, OTG cable. So now I, in theory, can plug up to four devices uh, via USB. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in and I just have a, uh, a standard uh, USB mouse and obviously you see here a very uh, generic and standard USB ke uh, keyboard and I'm just going to plug them both in to the different ports. Now you'll notice that when I plug them in uh, the device itself doesn't do anything. Um, oh wow my launcher just died. Okay. Well that's fine. Okay, so and I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in here uh, onto the uh, actual device, and you can see that I now have a, a mouse pointer uh, on the screen. Now this mouse does have a, a scroll wheel, so if I scroll up and I scroll back, uh, you'll notice that it does change the uh, the screen that I'm on. Uh, you'll also notice that if I click on the app drawer, it does cycle through the uh, different screens here. So the the that works very well actually. Um, in terms of the keyboard, uh, the keyboard, um, and I'm, I'm going to zoom out here a bit so you can see what I'm doing on the keyboard. The escape key actually takes me back to the uh, main screen and uh, if I use the arrows you can notice that uh, it's actually cycling through the different apps that I have available. So the keyboard uh, arrows function in kind of the same way. Uh, I have installed Office Suite uh, 6. Uh, this is a, and no, I don't want to uh, install the font package. Uh, Office Suite 6, uh, I actually uh, downloaded this from the 
Amazon App Store. This was something that it was like free or it was extremely cheap uh, on one of their days. So I went ahead and purchased this uh, for demonstration purposes. And so what I'm going to show you here is that I have the capability of using this as a word processor. So if I go over here into new and I do word document and from here the keyboard works and uh, you can just type right onto it. Um, let me Okay, so you can see that the keyboard works fine. Now, one of the questions was asked was, will they both work at the same time? And I'm moving the uh, mouse around at the same time of typing and it, it's functioning just fine. So the possibilities here to use the keyboard and mouse together at the same time uh, gives us something uh, very, very uh, um, fortunate, I, I think. Um, I would have liked to have seen the games uh, have a capability to use the keyboard and mouse like on my desktop unit. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm, I'm having limited success on the keyboard and mouse uh, working uh, for the games. And let's, let's just take a look at that here. I do have Minecraft Pocket Edition. And uh, I will just flip my tablet here and let the dongle hang. Okay, and I'll just uh, back out just a bit here to give you a demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the game, and I, I've already have one started here. Now, I would have liked to have seen the screen uh, move around as I move the mouse. I would have liked to have seen the screen move. Now, if I click and hold, uh, it does move around. And uh, that, that seems to be kind of cool. And then if I, if I click on one of the highlighted blocks and hold, it does actually dig. Uh, so it, it, it has some limited capabilities here. Um, moving around is a challenge. Uh, I can click on the items on the screen. Uh, so I can click on the on-screen options and move around. Uh, in terms of the keyboard, uh, the keyboard has absolutely no anything whatsoever for this game. So as it stands right now, the keyboard is kind of useless for this game. And that's, that's a little disappointing. Uh, I've been doing some research on some forums and I've determined that that's not uh, something that's in the works uh, as it stands right now. So I'm just gonna use my mouse to click on the home key. Now, this is a challenge as well. The, uh, the screen, the home screen, uh, the main launcher for the uh, Jelly Bean, uh, for this device specifically, without any type of modifications, does not rotate. Uh, so using the mouse on this, I do have to flip it back upright in order to get that to function. So I am going to go ahead and flip it back upright and we will move on to USB storage. Now uh, I have here a uh, USB, it's a, a SanDisk uh, Cruiser. Uh, the reason I picked this one specifically is because the actual word uh, Cruiser down here lights up blue uh, when there is uh, activity on it. So I was using that as kind of a, uh, uh, a reassurance that it was actually functioning. So I'm gonna leave the keyboard and mouse plugged in to the hub and then I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Uh, now before I do, I do want to show you this stick mount app that I have downloaded. It's stick mount uh, version 1.5 and I'll, I'll zoom in here a bit to show you. Now this app is <laughs> amazing. Uh, I absolutely love it. it. It gives you the ability to mount and unmount these items and it, and it mounts them in a very Linux fashion which you would expect uh, with an Android operating system. Um, this uh, device as it stands right now is formatted as a FAT32. Um, actually yeah, I believe it's FAT32. So uh, this has no problem identifying it. Now before I actually um, I've installed this app and that's fine. That's all you need to do. It's kind of a set it and forget it type of situation. But now that it's there, when I go to plug in the, uh, the device, and I'll plug it in here and show you, you'll notice the cruiser lights up and it, now it says stick mount searching. And it actually mounts the device uh, under the SD card uh, USB storage. So if you go in and look at it, for example, in uh, ES File Explorer, and again, I'm using the mouse here. Oh, it uh, seems to recall what I was doing last, and we'll get back to the uh, uh, videos here. Okay, so in ES File Explorer, uh, I have a folder, and it's called USB Storage. And uh, it's off here to the right. 
uh, this actually represents the drive. And like I said, the drive again is lit up. So you can see that the cruiser is lit up and the keyboard and mouse are still functioning. So I'm gonna go into USB storage and I'm gonna go into SDA1, which is how it's mounted. And again, this is reminiscent of uh, uh, Linux environments when items are mounted. So when I double click it, it comes up and uh, here are the items that are on the screen. Uh, I have personally purchased the 8 gigabyte uh, Nexus 7, and uh, one of the challenges of having an 8 gigabyte is that technically you only have about 6 gigabyte free, and so putting a lot of media on it, uh, that's why this whole process is so appealing of having the USB storage capabilities, is that in essence you could carry around a, an SD card, or I'm sorry, a, 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 a USB stick, and use it as your external storage for your media. And uh, I'll give you an example here of how this works out. Okay, uh, I've turned my tablet uh, into uh, uh, the horizontal mode here, and, and what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you an example of how the, uh, the concept of streaming the, uh, the movies and, and media and whatnot off of the device uh, actually works out. Now what I've done is I've taken the liberty of downloading a few trailers here and uh, I've actually downloaded the new Total Recall movie trailer and I've downloaded it in both 720 and in 1080p uh, so the 720p let's start that uh, and we'll just uh, start over here okay now this uh, I picked this trailer because well number one this movie is uh, coming out soon so it's topical uh, but also I wanted to have a 720p trailer with uh, some some action in it and I'm going to fast forward a bit to the action. Okay, so th there's a lot of really fast acting action right here. And you can see that streaming off of the, uh, and it is streaming off of the media card here. The light's on, so it is working. Uh, it's handling this like a champ. Uh, this, the 720p is coming off of this thing uh, in amazing fashion. So let's stop this here, and we'll go back. Now we also have a 1080p. Uh, this is the exact same trailer. And uh, actually let me get, uh, all right, so here's that same scene. A lot of action, a lot of motion. You can see it's still doing pretty well. Uh, it's, this is MX uh, Player. This is uh, MX Player free off the app market. It's still doing okay, it's pretty good now. Keep in mind that this is software uh, encoding, uh, software decoding rather, so, so the app is doing it via software, so you're not getting full hardware. Let me show you an MKV file that I actually have here, and this is a clip from a, uh, a cartoon, uh, Ratatouille to be specific, and this is actually using uh, hardware uh, decoding. So this is using the GPU to do the, uh, to do the transmission. This is a 1080p clip. And you can see it's a little choppy. Uh, this is what I would expect to see with hardware decoding from a 1080p video, um, full resolution, coming off of an external device. This is pretty much what I would expect. So realize that the limitation is definitely going to be there for um, you know different um, different types of media and whatnot. Now, if I go back, uh, let's say I also have an image here, and I can click on the image, and uh, I'll just open it with the gallery. And uh, so this is just an image coming off now. I, I, the zoom doesn't do anything, and uh, the mouse uh, pretty much doesn't do anything here. So, um, you know, obviously you can view images. Now I only have one, so it's not, it looks like if I had multiple images, it would go back and forth. All right, so um, that's that. Uh, I do have an MP3 on here, and it does not want to play it, and I'm not really sure why. And that's, uh, but again, it's it's probably the encoding of the actual MP3 player or the MP3 file itself. I would imagine that uh, you'd be able to stream MP3s as well. Uh, Right-clicking on items do give you the option for copy and paste and whatnot, so that's kind of cool. Matter of fact, I'm going to copy that. Uh, I'm going to copy that uh, MP3 file, and I'm going to go back up. I'm just going to put it right on the root of my SD card. And again, I'm using the mouse for all of this. Did it paste? Hmm. Ongoing. Ah, okay. So I just need to be uh, patient here. 
I can pull down. Oh, okay. So there it goes. It's copying. All right. So let's see. What else can we look at? Now, um, another question that was brought up in terms of this whole scenario is uh, I do have a card reader here. Uh, it does function uh, just the same as a multi card reader, uh, SD and compact flash. Obviously, you saw that. Uh, it functions the exact same way. Now, my experience has been that um, each time I put a new card into the reader, I have to unmount and remount this. So it's not hot swapping, as you would call it, uh, in between each time I, I put a new card in. Uh, so that is a limitation. A um, couple other things of note, uh, like I said, the uh, people's capability, it looks like it failed. Oh, that's curious. All right, well, and like I said, there's probably something wrong with the actual file itself. Uh, people's experiences uh, with, with USB devices other than this, uh, I will throw this out at you. I did attempt to plug a USB microphone into this. Uh, it did not work. Uh, I plugged a USB webcam. It uh, did not work. It powered on, but it did not work. And, and I wouldn't expect it to. I mean, there's no drivers for it. There's no way for the kernel to recognize what it, what it actually is. Um, I... Let's see, I had plenty of uh, good experience with the keyboard in terms of typing into the different fields. So the Google search, uh, it felt very nice using it on a, uh, uh, a browser. And I can just uh, open up uh, Chrome here and, and show you that uh, you can just type in a URL and I can type in. Okay, so go to a nice little page here. Um, reverendkyle.com. If you haven't been there, please go try it out. So, um, let's see, what else did I try? Uh, I did not try a powered USB hard drive, uh, but I've been told that that works wonderfully, uh, assuming that you actually have power uh, for the USB uh, hard drive itself. Now, um, Another very popular question is in terms of charging. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but uh, this uh, OTG cable uh, is powering this keyboard and this mouse and this USB uh, stick, and so obviously my battery is going to drain. And um, having the hub be a powered hub would give the capability of um, uh, reducing the load from the device and the actual hub would take over in terms of charging, uh, not charging rather, but, but powering these devices. Uh, as far as I can tell, and please somebody correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you cannot charge the device at the same time you're using the OTG cable. Uh, that's just not uh, capable as of yet. Um, other items of note, uh, there are other games, like I was playing Dead Trigger. Uh, the mouse does not function on that game, but the keyboard does, so that was a little peculiar. So I didn't have any way of aiming, uh, but I could move around and fire. Actually, I could fire with the mouse, but I couldn't move it around. There are some apps out there that give you the ability to map these types of things, but I, I'm not, uh, not going to play around with that. Uh, I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to show you here now, um, so I do encourage you to play around. I will put a link to uh, this. I bought this on Amazon for like 3 bucks, and uh, the hub is a generic hub you can buy anywhere. I think it's like $15 on any office supply store. So um, please share your own uh, experiences with this on the forum, uh, Rev, uh, reverendkyle.com, the RevTV uh, forum. Uh, so this has been Reverend Kyle demonstrating for you how the uh, USB host mode works with an OTG cable on the Google Nexus 7 tablet.